How are animals classified? When you think of the smartest organisms in the world, what comes to mind? Human beings are at the top of your list. You might also think about few animals like dolphins, chimpanzees and elephants. But the list does not end here. You might be surprised to know that million species of animals have been described till now. Therefore, the need for classification becomes all the more important. This classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals which forms the basis of animal classification. Let's learn a little bit more about these criteria of classification. Level of Organization All members of Animalia are multicellular but they exhibit different pattern of cell organization such as cellular level organization in sponges, tissue level organization in sealant grades and organ level organization in annelids and other higher phyla. Symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, that is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. Sealantrates and echinoderms exhibit radial symmetry, that is, any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves. Animals like annelids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry. Diploblastic and triploblastic organization Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm, are called diploblastic animals, example, sealantrates. Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals, example, platyhelminthes to chordates. Coelom, the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom. Animals possessing coelom are called coelomates, example, annelid. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates. Whereas some animals are pseudocelomate, that is mesoderm, is present as scattered pouch in between ectoderm and endoderm. Example, Ascalmanthes. Notochord. Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-chordates. Example, Porifera to Echinoderms. Animals are generally classified in two groups, non-chordata and chordata. Non-chordates include different phyla and these are Porifera, Cilantreta, Ascalmanthes, Platyhelminthes, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, and Echinodermata. On other hand, phylum Chordata is divided into three subphyla Eurochordata or Tunicata, Cephalochordata, and Vertebrata. Beside all these subphyla, Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chordata. But now it is placed as a separate phylum under non-chordata. This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system of level of organization. Examples, Belenoglossus and Secoglossus. Let's go through some important question from medical exams. Question 1. In which of the following animals the body cavity is a true coelom? 1. Flatworm. 2. Roundworm 3. Earthworm 4. None of these 
CPMD 2010. Solution The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom. Animals possessing coelom are called coelomates. Example, annelids. Hence, option 3 is correct. Question 2 Radial symmetry occurs in fishes 2 mollusk 3 starfishes 4 sponges this question was asked in afmc 2012 solution echinoderms example starfish exhibit radial symmetry that is any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves hence option 3 is correct Question 3. Level of organization in sponges 1. Cellular level 2. Acellular level 3. Tissue level 4. Organ system level This question was asked in JIPMA 2014. Solution. Sponges are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Hence, option 1 is correct. This video concludes how animals are classified. To know more about classification of animals, please visit our next video. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.